Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? Hi, everybody. Welcome to Missouri Star Live. I hope you are having a fabulous Tuesday. I am Misty Doan, and my husband Jake is back there on the microphone. She claimed me today. Her yeah. husband. Did you I'll hear that, guys? I'll keep him. That's, a, that's good news. <laughs> Anyway, so let's see where we've got people tuning in from. We got Tennessee. We got Leah New Hampshire, from San Diego. North Carolina. Remember, you have to say who's who. The, who it is. We got Barbara Thank from you. Oregon. Uh, Carol's Cheryl, watching. Love watching Hello. your videos. Thank you. Thank you guys for spending Suzanne a little bit of your Suzanne from Florida. With us. Perfect. Hey, Wh stop interrupting me, will you? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to Florida <laughs> soon, so that'll yeah, be fun. Yeah, we're coming. That'll be really fun. Well, also, Wendy um, from Oregon. Yeah. Bonnie from Maryland. Holy. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much now. for being here. Well, just uh, as a matter of a little bit of housekeeping before we dive in, just so you know, because we have some great Ginny on the Road shows coming up, we will be switching up our regularly scheduled lives for the next couple weeks. So next week, we'll be live on Monday at the same time, 11 Central. Um, because we'll be traveling to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee on Tuesday. We, wait, that's not me, huh? No, not that one. Okay, Fry, Florida. Yeah, then the next week... Fry, Florida, yeah. <laughs> the next week is um, our Jenny on the Road show in Ocala, Florida, and we're actually turning that into a bit of a little family vacation, so we'll yeah. be out that whole We week. are packing up the minivan, yeah, loading, loading the, the kids, kids up. And we're going to have a great time. We're so excited. But and we're going to force our 13-year-old to have the best time. <laughs> That's right. Ever. He's going to love it. My dad used to call that forced family fun. So it's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. But we're super excited. And uh, we will also be, the whole family will be at the Jenny on the Road shows in Ocala. And if you didn't know, we added a second show on the 13th at 10 a.m. And there's still some tickets available. So we'd love to see you. That first one sold out. But don't let that... Uh, you know, keep you away. That second show Wait, still is, has tickets. Is the other one in Arkansas? No, I don't think so. We're in Arkansas. We're not Arkansas. Not Arkansas. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and Ocala, Florida. My sister lives in Arkansas. That's true, but no Jenny on the Road show there yet. But we're not too far from Arkansas. You should come see us in Hamilton. Yeah, not party. It's like what three hours, depending four, on where you live. Four hours. A little bit more, but anyway. I gotta give a shout out to Indiana, all my Indiana folks. That's right. How you doing? Awesome. Well, we have something very fun. We've had a lot of requests um, from you guys to talk a little bit more about squaring up blocks. So we're gonna have what we're calling uh, Tool School today on live, and we've brought a tool bunch. Tool School. Tool School. That's right. We brought a bunch. We do need like a little jingle to go with it. So work right. on that. Okay. Well, all right, yeah. <laughs> We'll work on a little on jingle, okay, but work on the tool school jingle. <laughs> but we brought um, just some different tools that you might have or might be interested in purchasing to make squaring up your blocks a little bit easier. And I'm going to show you how to use each of those. So that's yeah, because there's we're a, do. there's a hundred way. Well, well there's maybe a few not a hundred, but to we're, square a block exactly. And it's not it's no reason to you know cause fear or anxiety so we're okay, going to go over I have a, a question those. is it supposed to be kind of like a rock theme or is it more of like <laughs> a John Denver theme um tool time yeah you know I'll take whatever I can get it's time to square up your blocks <laughs> <laughs> yes all of that okay but all anyway right, we'll so as you can see here I've got um a few little blocks already started I've made some half square triangles and I wanted to dive into some of these tools. So the one that I use the most myself is um, Block Lock. And you can actually purchase it in a set where you get a six and a half, a four and a half, and a two and a half inch uh, Block Lock ruler. And Yeah, that looks like one, but that's it, actually three There's actually three, three in here. And everything I show you today is available on our Missouri Star site, so keep that in mind. And there will be links to that in the post. But so we'll start with the block lock. Like I said, this is my personal favorite. Like Jenny always says, these different tools and rulers, they just need to work for your brain. So if they work for your brain and it's not too complicated for you, then that's what you're looking for. So with the block lock, what makes it kind of magical is there's a little cutout piece right here that when you take a half square triangle or a block that has a diagonal seam, it just like nests right in there. And locks your block in place. I got Hence what you name. did there. I see got what I've it. done? All right. And so then you can see there, this right here where it's etched out is my diagonal line. And so I can make sure it's nested right up against where that seam is. 
And then I always start by just pulling it down towards one edge. And you can see here, this is looking pretty square except for this little dog ear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to trim off that little dog ear on this side. And then I know this side is square. And then I'll rotate it just a little bit, make sure it's still nestled right up there. And then I'm just gonna trim off this side. One and two. And then I have a perfectly square little half square triangle. Magically done. Yep, and then when I go to put it together to make my larger block or pattern, it's gonna fit together nicely and we're not gonna have any issues. And like I said, these come in different sizes. Now, let's say that you didn't want to use the whole size of this, this ruler and you wanted to actually square this a little smaller. Again, you would lock this in place and you would use that line to slide it down to the size that you need. So say I wanna square it to four. Then I'll slide it down here. Oh, that one looks a little wonky now. I must have missed it when I cut it the first time, but now I can fix it. Actually, I wonder if I go this direction. That's looking hey, straighter. Watch your, watch your head, Missy. You're in our shot. Okay, sorry. So let's say I want to slide this down to four inches instead of four and a half. This is a lot of waste, so you probably wouldn't usually do this, but maybe, and this way you know how to do it. So then I've, I've got this side that's already square. I'm going to slide it down to my desired size and cut and cut. And then now I have a little four inch square. But Vicky's for me, asking me where my sister lives. I, she lives in Bonne, Bonneville? Bella Vista. Bella Vista, one <laughs> of those, hey. It's a beautiful area of Arkansas. But either way, as you can see, for me, I really like this tool because I find that when I square it this way after I press my blocks open, it makes, my squaring really, really accurate, and I'm not gonna skew it um, after the fact. But Jenny's favorite tool for squaring are these clearly perfect slotted trimmers. And when you get the small size, it comes in a set with half inch increments and whole increments. These come together in a package like this. So this is what you'd okay, see online. Okay, we had online. a good question about the block lot. Sure. Does it work if you press your seams open? Um, let's try right, it. Let's try it out. Yeah, let's try it right here. Press my seam open. We'll just test it out right here for you. I actually starched these pretty good, so now it's not one to come apart, but. Listen, Jean, this is for you, you know? We're gonna get to the bottom of this right now. Dun, dun, dun. Got that first part ready. Press this one, there we go. All right, let's try it now, see how it feels. See if oh, it really perfect. locks in there. It still locks. It well, does. maybe, let me, let me see here. It's not as, as accurate when you press your seams open. It's not as locky, but yeah. you can get it to kind of fit. So like nest you can there. see here, I can still get it to nest, but you have to work it a little bit more. And so it's not gonna be quite as easy if your seams are pressed open. But like you can still, I can still see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's still just enough of a little notch there that I can get it to lock in place right on that diagonal line. But you could go through and trim your triangles up and then just open them up and That's press true. Your if you really wanted to press your seams open, you could do it after the fact like I did on this one. But um, that's a great question. So yeah, it does work, but it, it takes a little bit more... Um, maneuvering well and and maybe attention. this other ruler is a little bit better for that yeah maybe all right so then let's show these um clearly perfect slotted trimmers and so i'm going to use what is the wait let me make sure i've got this barbara right. you haven't missed much this is tool school tool school we're talking about squaring up blocks so if you're just joining us so you can see here this is my trimmer a and this is the one that has the half inch increments and so it goes from six and a half all the way to one and a half on the measurements here. And so what you're looking for is on this uh, tool, you'll see this little dashed line and that represents your stitch line. So when you're trying to square this up to whatever size you need it to be, you're going to line up your stitches right on that dashed line. Not the straight line below it because that's where the fabric actually ends, but you wanna make sure the dashed line 
matches your seam line. And so I've got that here. And then now. And also I want to remind everybody, ask questions if you have questions about yeah. these tools. But start if you want us to do. Different you know, things. Different tool. Yeah, that you want to learn about Wait, the differences. What are we calling this? How did I forget this? Tool school. If you want a different tool in tool school, <laughs> put it in the comments. Yeah, let us know for sure. All right. So then I've got my my stitch line on the dash line and I'm going to make two cuts here. One and two. Make sure your fingers are out of the way. And the other thing that's really cool, my blade might be getting dull. There we go. The other thing that's really cool about this particular trimmer is it has these little slits in the side, the little notches that will help you get rid of your dog ears. So when you go to press this, you can just take your rotary cutter, it'll slide right in there and you can trim off those little notches that will get rid of your dog ears. So Cream, that. Cream Puff says she heard a Garth, a Garth reference in there. Tool school, party time. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. Little Wayne's World, you mean? Garth awesome. and Wayne. Uh, Garth and Wayne. Yeah, I know. And then Never we can mind. just press She's young. this. She's young. What? <laughs> All right. We can just press this back, roll it to the dark side, and it looks great. So super easy and quick and another great method. And like I said, it's, it's really fun because when you buy them, you can get them in both your full and half inch measurements. So those are another great way. And one thing as I was you know, gathering all the info for this that I didn't know is you can actually get those clearly perfect slotted trimmers in larger Holy sizes. Holy smokes. Yeah. I didn't know that. That is a monster triangle. Yeah. So then these actually come separately. So you, they don't come as a kit. So you can buy the half inch increment of the larger size and the whole inch increment. So if, if you're getting into a project and planning on it. Right. If you have some bigger you squares know. that you need to square up, um, it works exactly the same. So we've got this guy right here that we can square up, made a little bit bigger one. And so then again, we just find that stitch line and line it up on there. Actually, got a little wonky there. You can slide it towards one direction so you have less waste, but I'm gonna square this up to nine just cause I can. And then we'll cut. And cut. If you notice, you really shouldn't cut towards yourself, but I'm, I'm putting my body away from where I'm going. So if you're doing something like that, just kind of make sure you move around so you're not doing any dangerous cutting. And then again, we're going to cut off our dog ears like so. And then we have a perfectly square nine inch block. We can just press back. So that is pretty fun. Now let's say that you don't have half square triangles to square. You have maybe a different block. Okay, wait, we had a question that yes. I was hoping would come up today. What is the pattern of that quilt behind you? This is the Missouri Star Quilt. But that's a new Missouri this Star Quilt. This is a new quilt. one. And so this is actually really great because uh, there's a kit available on our website for this in these beautiful, vibrant colors. And so it's really, really fun, but yes. That's what hangs behind us almost every time, our beautiful Missouri Star quilt. Wait, are we going to Osceola? Where are we going? Ocala. Oh, hollow. Sorry. No, still got it wrong. <laughs> Ocala. O-C-A-L-A. O-C-A-L-A. Ocala back at you, girl. You know, what I mean? that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Jake. He, he's ridiculous. <laughs> I wasn't saying it wrong. I was just, I was like, oh, holla. <laughs> but another beautiful block Ocala back on track is where we're going Sorry. that's right Ocala Florida is where we're headed so let's talk a little bit about um, maybe quarter square triangles so this is something that you might not know but quarter square triangles oh, where in Ocala <laughs> all of that information Sorry. is linked so you can find all those details yeah. in the post and it will give you more information on where we're headed all right, so you can see here, I've, I've stitched together some little quarter square triangles and I wanna show you how easy these are to square using um, the Clearly Perfect slotted trimmers. Make sure I've got the right one here. Nope, whole sizes. So we're using trimmer B this time. So what are we doing here? 
We are talking about quarter square triangles. So maybe you don't have just a normal half square triangle. You've got another seam you're dealing with and you want to make sure everything's lined up because when you trim this down, you don't want your center to be off center, right? So, uh, yes. Exactly. Agreed. So that's what we're working on here. So if you notice on these clearly perfect slotted trimmers, there's also a vertical line that runs down the center of the trimmer. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to line up your stitch line just like you would for a normal half square triangle. And then you're going to line that middle seam line up on that vertical line. And when you do that, it will make sure that your block stays centered when you square it, which I think is really clever. And honestly, because I don't usually use these tools myself, I didn't realize I could do that. And now I'm thinking that's pretty clever and I probably will use it more. So, so again, we can trim this up. And so make sure you're, you're lining it up on the stitch line, not the edge of the fabric, because then you will be disappointed. But it's those, those seam lines that are the key to keep your block square. So we can trim one side, make sure it stays where you want it. It's worth taking your time. Trim the other side. C, C Mark says, it's, this is great with these specialty rulers, but how do you do it with a regular oh, ruler? Oh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna get there. Listen, this is tool school. Yeah, I'm going through going all through your all. options. And so there we go. We have a perfectly squared uh, quarter square triangle that stays centered exactly how we want it for those, those patterns. You know, you work so hard to get those seams to, mess, to nest up and match. You don't want them to be off center. That would be terrible. So we can just press that back. All right. So then, like she asked, let's talk about squaring your blocks with a regular ruler. So if you have any ruler, square, rectangle, that has a 45 degree line, you can square up your blocks using that. So that's what we're gonna follow. I've got another little half square triangle here, and we're going to lay this so that the 45 degree line matches up right with my seam. Can you guys see that there? I'm lining that up. And my goal here is to square this to four and a half. So at the same time that I'm matching up that center seam, I'm looking here, is there enough for me to trim? Is it hanging over the edge? Is it inside of where I'm aiming or do I need to square it up smaller? But I can see here, I've got just a little bit hanging over. And then by looking through my ruler, here's my four and a half inches, one, two, three, four and a half. I can see when I turn this, there will be plenty for me to cut on the other side. So that looks really good to me. So I'm just gonna square this, make these two cuts. Again, if you don't have a rotating mat, just make sure you're changing the way that you stand so that you're out of the way of your rotary cutter. So we can- Don't cut yourself. Don't cut yourself, that's right. We don't want any injuries. So I've got these two sides square. And so now I'm going to rotate that so that the sides that I squared are now up here. I'm going to get back to my 45 degree line and I'm going to find that four and a half mark that I'm aiming for. And you're really just using your ruler measurements. Just on your this, ruler so measurements. Don't, don't worry about what's happening on the mat. That's exactly right. This I'm only using the ruler and the lines on the ruler. And so again, you can see my 45 line runs across that seam. And now I've got the sides that I already squared lined up exactly on my four and a half mark. So you might want to count just to make sure one, two, three, four and a half and one, two, three, four and a half. And so I know it's going to be square. So somebody was asking if your seams aren't perfectly straight, will it still work? You want Absolutely. to just get it as close as, as you close can. As you can. Split the difference and in. what I would recommend in that, like say you get a little wonky in the middle, keep your 45 on your, your edges matched up. And it's okay if it want, it gets a little off in the middle. If it's so off that it's gonna drive you crazy, it's okay to re-stitch re that line. You don't even necessarily have to take it out because when you press it, it's still just gonna lay flat. So you can just take another seam to make it a little bit straighter so that you're happy with it. So again, let's line this up at our four and a half mark and we can just trim and trim. And there we have another little perfect square, easy as pie. And you can do that same thing 
with your quarter square triangles as well. Just use that 45 degree line. If you don't have a 45 degree line in your block to follow, let's say you're squaring up a nine patch or something like that, um, I always recommend um, kind of working, like you know what each quadrant measures and you wanna keep it as close as possible. I should have made one of these to talk about, but um, I kind of do one side at a time using the lines of the block itself and measure from there to make sure that I'm, I'm keeping straight lines and I make my block square all the way around. Hopefully that made sense. So any other questions? Um, I think we have tool schools to do for the next 10 Perfect. years. Perfect. I love it. I think it's a fun idea. It's but good we should to... just tie it in. Like every Tuesday we throw in a little tool school. A little school tool school we could, and yeah. A, and a project. Absolutely. Why not? But it's been super fun. And um, I, it, like I said, I learned a lot along the way. So I enjoyed doing it. But yeah, if, if there's any other questions or anything you'd like to see specifically, I'm happy to do it. I've got some time. So. Um, they said if you could sew the Missouri Star quilt behind you just real quick. Just whip it up right there. Or we maybe a double wedding ring or something. <laughs> oh, a double wedding ring. I was just talking to Liz, who I work with, about the double wedding ring and how much we want to make one. But I've decided it's going to be my retirement quilt when I, you know, have the time yeah. to just sit and sew at leisure. Well, we, we ain't sitting, girl. Well, maybe, you know, but... You won't do a lot of sitting, but I can sew at leisure. And so <laughs> that's when I'll, I'll tackle the double wedding ring. We I'm excited. Question. Do we sell rotating mats? We absolutely do sell rotating mats. We have a couple of different options on our website. Norma, you are a little late. We just finished our thing. Yeah. You're going to have to rewatch. Yes. Remember, you can go yeah, back. If you and, didn't see one of these. Yeah, you can go back and start it over, and it'll be here for you the whole time. Super, super great. We went over the clearly perfect slotted trimmers, the block lock, and then squaring with any ruler you have. So this is our, our trusty five by 15. So yeah. Thanks awesome. everybody for yeah. tuning in. Keep putting your, as, as this replays, if you didn't put your ideas for the things in yeah, the let tool us know. schools in, yeah, put them let in us know. so then we can really dial them in and get, see who wants them the most. Oh, and also or which tools we should do first. Yes, for sure. I'm excited to hear because this was really fun and, and really great, you know, just basics to go over for all of us because we can always learn a little and, bit more. And maybe if you're up in the air on a tool, you're like, show me that in yeah, real life. Yeah, let me see that one. Let me see how that works and we'd be happy to show you. All but right. also just remember our um, Golden Star Sweepstakes is still going on. So we'll be drawing yeah. our daily winners and, ev you know, That's as today, you what? At one? We go live every weekday at one o'clock to, to on Facebook um, to draw our, our I mean, daily winners Can't we winners just do there. it right now, Mary? No. Nope. Can't we just switch it up and do it right <laughs> no, now? No, Jake. Always, Dang. Always trying to cause problems. Sorry, <laughs> so guys. we'll be live at one o'clock for that, that daily Facebook drawing um, Monday through Friday. So that'll be really fun. And I'm, I'll be doing that today before I head out of town. So I'm excited about that. And also remember, you can keep shopping along with us and your purchases earn you all kinds of prizes. You can, you know, earn prizes right as you shop. You can be, and you'll be entered into the daily giveaways that we do. Those drawings will be on Facebook. The grand and the grand prize, prize. which is an amazing uh, fully stocked sewing room. So yeah. thank you guys fun. so much Thanks, for tuning guys. in. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Yeah. Have a good day. Have a good Tuesday. That's right. We'll see